right, we're good. So, wanted to quickly pull up the camera and record a little update video because I have been a bit inactive lately. So, figured that before I do anything this week, I would uh, update you guys on what's been going on. So, obviously I haven't uploaded in like three weeks and I don't really have much of an excuse as to why. I just kind of not really been all that motivated, but um, something's going on this week that will hopefully put me back up on my feet in terms of, you know, and like motivation to get videos and stuff. So me and Eli, we are going to be going to an event called Summer Shredding. Um, it's in Texas, I believe it's in Stafford, Texas. It's basically like a couple competitions for bodybuilding and things like that. And uh, all these crazy, like, not crazy people, but like a crazy amount of people. I mean, some of them might be crazy, don't get me wrong, but a crazy amount of people are going to be going to this event and going to the Alpha Elite Gym and working out. So it's gonna be a great opportunity to meet a lot of like influencers, I guess you could say. Um, so super, super excited for that. But yeah, so gonna be going to that. Uh, Wednesday is when I leave with Eli. So right now it's Monday. Not sure when I'm uploading this either today or, today or tomorrow, but sorry, I'm out of breath because I don't really do cardio. And I'm walking around my room pacing back and forth. I don't know if that's the reason why I'm out of breath, but I don't know. When I talk a lot, I get out of breath, but Anyway, back to what I was saying. Yeah, so summer shredding in a couple days. We're gonna be doing that, getting a lot of vlog footage for you guys, 100%. Um, looking forward to that. Definitely not gonna be wasting that opportunity to vlog, so expect to see a video or two of that coming out in the next couple weeks. Um, also, I wanted to explain to you guys what I've been up to in terms of, like, you know, the past three weeks, what I've just been doing. So, I'd say for yeah a good three weeks now, I've been on, maybe not three weeks, maybe like two weeks actually, I have been eating super strict. Um, this is one thing I've always struggled with in all four and a half to five years of lifting. I have never been able to uphold like a good, I guess you could say diet. I don't wanna say it's a diet, I just wanna call it more of like a eating, eating habit, eating pattern, whatever the hell, but, um, yeah, so I've just been like eating a lot of food, trying to really bulk up. Uh, it's ironic because we're going to summer shredding, but I'm bulking up a lot. Like this is probably the heaviest I've ever weighed. Last night after eating all my meals, I weighed in at 200.4. So I don't really exactly weigh 200 pounds right now, but like that was with all the water and all the food in me, which is good. Um, I've never weighed 200 pounds, so I was pretty happy to see that number, even though it wasn't my like fasted weight. But yeah, so I've just been eating a lot of calories, a lot of protein, a lot of carbs, a lot of fat. Well, not a lot of fat, but like a good amount of fat. You know, just trying to get all my macros in, 3,500 to 4,000 calories a day. It's not that hard. Honestly, once you get into the groove of things and you figure out the foods you like to eat and you like set up a schedule for everything, it kind of all just falls into place. And um, if there's ever a time where I'm like not feeling like, you know, making the food or like eating it, I'll just throw on like a motivational eating video from like Ronnie Coleman or whatever. And that usually like helps me power through it. But yeah, so I've been seeing a lot of results from that. Um, about a month ago, I fell off hard and stopped eating all my meals and like stopped taking my creatine because I ran out of creatine. Um, and I've really like, I weighed below 190 and I looked, I looked bad, like not bad, but like not full at all. So um, that's what kind of like, made me think, dude, this is not good. I need to like fix this. So been doing that. I've been really focusing on eating right and trying to get, you know, as many calories as possible. Or, I mean, if I were to get as many calories as possible, I'd be eating around five, 6,000, but that's not the point. Uh, I'm really just trying to put on weight, put on more muscle mass. Cause I feel like I've peaked, I've hit a peak in terms of like what I'm able to gain without eating right. Um, because like I said, for like four and a half years, all the years I've been lifting, I never paid attention to diet. Like occasionally I would try and like eat more here and there. And I would say I'm bulking, but really I'm not really bulking. I'm just like eating good for a week or two and then falling right back off. And it didn't really work, but, or it did work, but like it didn't work for, 
for forever. You know, like I hit a plateau, I hit a sticking point in terms of how much muscle I'm able to put on. But um, yeah, so this is really helping me. I've never been bigger. Uh, I'm getting stronger too. I uh, haven't really been powerlifting much, but when I did max on like, I didn't really max, but I tried to hit like the highest single that I could. I hit like 390 on the bench and 445 on squat, which to me is good because uh, I haven't really been going heavy, you know, like I haven't really been training for strength, so it's not bad. I hit like 535, a new PR on deadlifts, so it's all going well, um, it's working, and I feel like if I could just keep it up for, I don't know, forever I guess, then uh, hopefully I put on more muscle and I get stronger. I uh, really want to see what I'm capable of in terms of building this physique to the to the max um, up until I reach my genetic potential, of course. But yeah, so that's really what I've been doing the past like three, three, four weeks, I guess. But yeah, so summer shredding, I'm going to that in a couple days, leaving here on Wednesday. It's going to be a long ass trip too. It's going to be like a 13 hour drive. So. Uh, yeah, not looking forward to the drive, but definitely looking forward to meeting a lot of you guys. Um, I think that's it. I mean, I just wanted to quickly catch you guys up on what's been going on in my life. So yeah, just wanted to um, say those things and yeah. Alright guys, so I just got this package here in the mail not too long ago. So I'm going to go ahead and open it here and show you guys what it is. I think I might already have an idea of what it could be, but uh, we're about to find out. So, Alright, so here is what is inside. It is from Clout Power, which if you guys don't know, I am now sponsored by Clout Power. They're a supplement brand, but okay, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here. They got some samples there, uh, fanny packs. Uh, so they sent me two of everything because I'm supposed to give some to Eli because I guess they had some problems sending him these packages. So, um... Yeah, all this isn't really mine. I'm gonna split this in half with Eli. But we got some Cloud Power pre-workout samples here. Some more samples. And then right here is the BCAAs. Okay, cool. So this isn't even out yet. It should be coming out in like a week or so. But we get to try these out early, which is great. So I believe they sent two of them. Yep, two of them. And they also sent some of the Pink Starburst pre-workout, which is a new flavor that just released like two or three days ago. Super cool. I've got so much pre-workout now, it's not even funny. A second one. And then they sent me a shaker bottle. This is for me, because I think Eli already has one from before. But yeah, so pretty dope. Thank you, Cloud Power, y'all are awesome. All right, so yeah, in case you guys didn't know, some of you guys might not know by now, but I am sponsored by Cloud Power now. Um, they are the brand that I just opened the box from. They're a supplement company. I ended up getting sponsored by them and leaving Gorilla Mind. No bad blood or anything, it's just Gorilla Mind is, in my opinion, way too oversaturated and I don't see myself going very far with them. 
So I see more potential in the future being with Cloud Power. Plus, they let me try their products before I joined, and I really do like their style. I like their products. The taste of their products are phenomenal, in my opinion. Of course, um, I have been using them for about, I'd say maybe like a month now, solid, like every day. But no joke though, I really do like their products, and I'm not just saying it because I'm sponsored by them. Like, the only reason I am sponsored by them is because I like their products. Um, so yeah, like, I don't know. I just feel like some of you guys on YouTube aren't following me on Instagram. I already announced it on Instagram a while ago, which you might not know yet, so I'm just gonna say it here. Um, of course, being sponsored, it comes with me having my own support code, uh, which if you do use my support code on the website when you buy anything, it helps me out because I get commissions off of sales. Um, so if you got, I gotta stop saying um, dude. Like I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just rusty and haven't recorded a video in a long time. So uh, maybe. But anyway, so uh, if you guys end up buying anything from them, use code Lewis. Simple as that. Code Lewis, you get 10% off, and I get commissions, and it really helps me. So um, yeah, ah, said um again.